All right, so working on 2011 Volkswagen Jetta. Customer complaint is an intermittent ABS light. Um, let me take you to the scan tool, see what we got. Okay, so it looks like ABS wheel speed sensor rear left, G46 mechanical malfunction intermittent, and we have an ECU tire pressure monitoring. That would be normal because the tire monitors use the speed sensors to look at tire pressure. Okay, so I have our speed sensors up, and what I'm going to do is go around and spin each wheel and see what we have. Okay, sorry about the glare. Doing this by myself, so I'm going to the left front. Spinning it. And you can see we have a signal, and since it's spinning the right front as well. Um, you can see that one works too. I'm going to go to the right rear. You can see the right rear has a signal. And there's the left rear. A couple dropouts in that left rear. Spin it again. See those dropouts. None of the other wheels are doing that. We're gonna focus on this left rear speed sensor signal. Um, just some component information on these wheel speed sensors. Wheel speed sensors generate a digital signal to the ABS control module to determine wheel speed. As wheel speed increases, frequency increases. Reluctor for the wheel speed sensor is part of the wheel bearing assembly, not serviced separately. Any problems with the wheel bearings can affect the wheel speed sensor signal. Um, we have, it's a two pin connector. Pin one is a signal, pin two is a ground. And it says a tech note, sensors are often out of position due to previous repairs to suspension or brake systems. Also check for poor terminal connections at the connector or broken signal wires at the wheel speed sensor. Okay, so there's my wheel speed sensor. I have this little um, jumper harness installed and I got my leads connected. So let's take a look at this signal. All right, so I am connected. I have this on a 20 volt scale. We are reading 11.37 volts, so 12 volts. Let's spin this wheel. See, there's a bit of a square wave on the top of this 12 volt signal. What I'm going to do AC couple this. Um, change my scale a little bit. I'll put this on a 1 volt now. Sweet. All right, so I want to see more of this. Ah, uh, we can leave it like that. Okay. So we got a nice, nice square wave. I'm seeing a little bit of a drop there. Real quick. So I'll freeze it. <clears throat> we'll zoom out. Zoom in here. Oh, there it is, right there. Let's see if see if it's consistent, and it is. You can see the drop there, drop there, drop there. Let me get a better 
me zoom out a little bit on this time. We'll do one second. That's good. And then you can see that drop out. So it looks like maybe something's on this reluctor wheel. Maybe there's an issue with the wheel. on the bearing, so I'm gonna pull this off and inspect this bearing, see what. All right, so it's drum brakes, so you had to get the drum off. This may be a little hard to see, but you can see there's a piece of metal right there. That is the wheel speed sensor back there, and it rides along this reluctor wheel that's a part of the wheel bearing, and there's a big piece of rust stuck. I'm gonna see if I can rotate this wheel bearing back and forth and try to see if that's the dropout on my scope. Let's check it out. So I'm just going back and forth over top of this rust piece and you can see the high and low spots where it stays fixed. Um, the low spots it is me changing direction of this wheel because all I'm doing is going back and forth like this. So the low spots, that's me changing direction on the bearing. But those spots where it stays high is this piece of rust. It's in there on this wheel. Let me see if I can rotate it again. It is right there. I wonder if I can get that off. I'm gonna try to get that. So there it is. We're stuck to that reluctor wheel. I'm gonna spin this around, see if we still have any dropouts. Might be easier if I just bolt this wheel back. So I got this wheel bolted back up, rotating it. We got no dropouts now. Piece of rust stuck on the reluctor wheel, causing an intermittent left rear wheel speed sensor fault. Pretty sweet. So, um, these wheel speed sensors are very strange. This is an ACE. Uh, not an AC, but I, I do have this AC coupled. Um, let me take this back out. Put this back on a 20 volt scale. And we will take the AC coupling off. And you can see that square wave on top of this 12 volts. Strange digital wheel speed sensor. Calling that one a fix. Piece of rust. Right there. Stuck on the reluctor wheel, causing a dropout. Pretty sweet. Thanks for watching.